And welcome back to Wake Up San Diego. It is going to be a bright, sunshiny day out there. It's, it's amazing that we're talking about January here, but really this is San Diego year-round with lots of sunshine. And you need to protect yourself year-round. So America's favorite dermatologist, Dr. Tess, uh, stops by for another session of Ask Dr. Tess today. Um, you're, it's amazing. Th this right? is nothing new. No. And, you know, this is actually one of the common things. Our patients are coming in and they're saying, Doctor, how can I protect our skin from the sun? And we have a wonderful question from kind of a follow up from last week's um, talk to Dr. Tess. Okay, we've, from uh, this, you. we've got these. Uh, uh, these pages on our website where you can go ask Dr. Tess, uh, San Diego6.com, and that's what New did. And New said, I am a runner and I am always in the sun. I'm interested in the pill just mentioned on the show, P L E. Uh, what would you recommend for people that may have sensitive skin or acne? Now, tell everybody about the pill well, again. Well, this is, again, this, we, this is featured on Dr. Oz's anti-aging guide, and um, this is a breakthrough. It works like a sunscreen pill, polypodium leucotomos extract. This is the brand that you we carry. You just earned your medical degree <laughs> exactly. right there. <laughs> so we shorten it a PLE, and this is the brand that I personally take. Yesterday, we were on the beach, and we t I took two pills. You take it about um, 20, 30 minutes before you go out there and it's a super antioxidant and it works like a um, force field blocking the ultraviolet rays from the So this is sunscreen damage. from the inside out. Exactly. And you it's get not full blocking this, it's protecting you from the inside exactly. out. Exactly. And you wow. get full coverage, um, it's waterproof, and you use it in addition to sunscreen. But sunscreen is very, very important. So, New York, question about you know what to do if you have sensitive skin. There are people who are really allergic to sunscreen. Yeah, some people just break out to something Absolutely. awful. So then they they say, well, I can't wear sunscreen. Right. So, so PLE, polypodium, and heliocare here is wonderful for those who truly have allergy to um, sunscreen. And they can be allergic to some of the chemical blockers and sometimes the fragrance and preservatives in sunscreen. Right. What, what's your rule of thumb? Well, you know, if you get itchy, if you get hives from your sunscreen, you may really have an allergy. So what you need to do is look for sunscreen that have zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. So these are true physical blockers. They're not chemicals that can react to the sun and cause an allergy. So they're, a, they're an actual barrier. Exactly. So these are like, you know, the, the surfers would have the sure. white shield. So that's the one you should look for. If you are acne prone, it can be a problem because it, um, sunscreens can cl uh, clog pores. But there are now a lot of oil-free sunscreens, so get those. And But it's really important. There's, you know, there's so many options now for us for sunscreen, so there's really no, no excuse. excuse. And it's very important to look for one that you like and you will use because not only will it keep you from aging quickly, but it may save your life because it can be Decrease your risk for skin cancer. Well, I'll tell you what, so many of us here that are, uh, have been in several San generations Diego. in San Diego now. Absolutely. We have parents, grandparents that suffer with it's skin cancer. It's so important. And don't forget to put sunscreen on your kids. On the kids, yeah, before you let them outdoors. Wonderful, Ever. yes. Okay, San Diego6.com. Click on Ask Dr. Tess and ask your questions for America's favorite dermatologist. All right, and we may answer your question live next time. Sounds good to me. Thanks, Okay, for your we're question. coming right back here on Wake Up San Diego.